In this segment, we're going to talk about the contrast shower. The definition of the contrast shower is a series of hot showers between 102 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit, altered by cold showers, 55 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, with the hot segment lasting longer than the cold segment. Here are the effects of the contrast shower. We will be stimulating the thermal receptors, or the hot and cold receptors in the body, which is going to vastly increase the circulation throughout the body. Stimulating the body as it tries to throw off heat during the hot phase and conserving heat during the cold phase. This again is going to strongly increase the circulation. The immunity will be increased by those white blood cells circulating through the circulatory system. The mechanical receptors in the skin are stimulated by the pressure from the shower. So this increases the person's ability to sense or feel. Here are the indications or the conditions for receiving a contrast shower. Stimulating blood flow to the skin, thereby relieving congestion of internal organs. Lethargy or fatigue. It serves as a tonic or it helps to tone the skin, the vessels underneath, and the muscles. This can prevent soreness after vigorous exercise or work. Prevent development of a migraine headache if you do this quick enough. Prevent the onset of respiratory cold or flu. Or shorten the duration of respiratory cold or flu. Develop better tolerance to cold winter weather. Advanced diabetes. So here are some cautions for the contrast showers. So this means that you wouldn't use this in the typical protocol, but just maybe back off on the temperature or do it just a little bit differently, and I will explain that. For advanced diabetes, you only want to use 20 degrees difference in temperature. So if you have the hot at 102 degrees, the cold will go down to 82. Loss of sensation. Again, the same thing. Use only 20 degrees difference in temperature. Pregnancy. Again, only 20 degrees difference in temperature. Hyperthyroidism. People that suffer with hyperthyroidism should not too frequently receive these showers. Thyroid is already overactive enough. The inability to tolerate heat or cold use less extreme temperature. So the contraindications or conditions that you would not want to do this treatment. Lymphedema due to disease or surgery, advanced cardiovascular disease, advanced renal or kidney disease, multiple sclerosis, seizure disorders, extreme obesity, a recent meal, you want to wait at least one hour, a chilled person, ingestion of alcohol or illegal drugs. Here's the equipment that you need for the contrast shower. Obviously a shower stall, hot and cold water, a thermometer, a container to measure the temperature of the water, a bath towel, a bath mat. You may need to have grab bars on the sides for people that are unsteady to hang on to. A body brush or a loofah sponge for extra mechanical stimulation if desired. This will make the treatment more intense. And a time device. It's good to include prayer in these treatments, giving God the opportunity to heal the person and not yourself. Here's the procedure of how to give a contrast shower. Check the health history and clear for cautions or contraindications and consent to treat for the person. Take vital signs and explain the treatment to your subject. Have the client undress to their bathing suit. Place the bath mat on the floor in front of the shower. Turn on the water in the shower using the thermometer to adjust the hot water temperature to the desired level for your subject. Have your subject enter the hot shower and remain for three to five minutes until thoroughly warm. Change the water to cold using the thermometer to check the temperature for the desired level. Remain in the cold for 30 seconds 
no longer than one minute. Change the water back to hot for three minutes, checking the temperature. Change the water back to cold for 30 to 60 seconds, checking the temperature. And then you can repeat those above steps between the hot and the cold for a minimum of three cycles or longer, is depending on the desire of the effect for your client. After the last cycle of cold, turn off the water as the client steps out onto the bath mat. Have the client thoroughly towel dry briskly. Have the client dress to stay warm. Retake vital signs and record the treatment.